Given a trig function, we want to find the other five trig functions. This first slide I don't want you to write down. I just want to talk you through it. Steps of solving if, you, uh, if you're given a trig function. First, set up a coordinate plane. Given the trig function, identify any x, y's, or r's that you can. Then identify the uh, x, y, and r by creating a right triangle. Find the missing piece using Pythagorean theorem. Then evaluate the other five trig functions using these fractions. So here's what we give you. This is what I do want you to write down as this example. Name the six trig functions given the following information. So we give you that the cosine of the theta is negative four fifths and that the angle lies in quadrant three. So we want to first set up a coordinate plane. So I have my circle here and my angle falls in quadrant three down here. So I'm going to create a right triangle. And I have this negative 4 fifths. If you refer back to this slide, I give you that the cosine of the angle is negative 4 fifths. So to find the cosine of an angle, it's x over r. So over here, this represents x divided by r. So now we can create our x value of negative 4 and our r value of 5. You can never have a negative radius. So we're going to identify the x, y, and r, which we just did in step 2, and then create our um, picture. So our x goes negative 4. Our y, use a different color here, our y is unknown, and then our r radius is 5. All right, so if you want to leave that picture there, let's just identify the x, y, and r. The x is negative 4, the y is unknown, and the r is 5. And we chose this one right here. So our right triangle with our theta is there. Remember, if you use right triangle trig, this would be your side opposite. This would be your side adjacent. And this would be your hypotenuse. So if you couldn't remember x, y, and r, you could always just use Sokotoa. All right, now we need to find that missing value. In this case, we need to find the y value. So x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We know the x is negative 4, the y is unknown, and then the r is 5. So now we solve this for y. <laughs> Minus 16 is 9, square root it. Don't worry about the negative for now. All right, let's go back up here. Do we have a positive or a negative y? In this case, in quadrant 3, you'd have a negative 3. All right, so now we know our three values. So we'll go back and erase this y. It is now a negative 3. So we have our x, y, and r. So now we can go and find the sine, cosine, and tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So sine is y over r, or from right triangle trig, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Well, the y value was negative 3. And the r value was 5. To find the cosecant, just flip it, negative 5 thirds. Just lost my smart board connection here. All right. 
All right, so flip that, we get negative 5 thirds. All right, to find the cosine, that was already given to us, but I'll just kind of identify it again. That's x over r, or ka, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that was negative 4 over 5. To do the secant, just flip it. Last one, tangent. Tangent is y over x, or toa, opposite over adjacent. So y was negative 3, and x was negative 4. Negative divided by negative is a positive 3 fourths. To find the cotangent, you flip it, it's now 4 thirds. Last example, we're going to go through those steps again, so you probably don't need to write all those steps down now. Uh, we give you the cosecant of theta is 4, so cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, so just off the sine. The sine of theta represents y over r. So what we have is the cosecant. So the cosecant is r over y. Just down a little bit here. All right. So if I rewrite this 4 as 4 over 1, my r is 4 and my y is 1. So now I know two pieces, my r and my y. The other thing it tells us is the cotangent of theta is a negative. So that means, if you remember, the tangent of theta is y over x. So tangent has to be a negative also. So cotangent would be x over y. One of those has to be a negative. So either it has to be the ne negative on the x or negative on the y. Well, we just identified that the y was a negative up here. So my x has to be a negative number. So what quadrant will this fall in? I have a negative x. So it has to be going in this direction, my negative x. And then I'm going to be a positive y in this direction. So the quadrant that we're in is quadrant 2. So I'm going to create that right triangle. Let's erase that negative x and y here. There's my theta. There's my right angle. I have my negative x, my positive y, and my r. From up here, we found our r to be 4, our y to be 1, and then our x is unknown. So I'm going to write down those numbers. So my x is unknown, my y is 1, and my radius is 4. So we have to find that missing part. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Sorry. So x squared is unknown. y squared is 1. r squared is 4 squared. So x squared plus 1 equals 16. x squared equals 16 minus 1. x squared equals 15, so x equals plus or minus the square root of 15. Now let's go up and figure out if it's plus or minus. Well, since it's quadrant 2, it has to be a negative square root of 15. So we'll erase that question mark, change it to x equals negative square root of 15. And then change the question mark here, negative square root of 15. Now we can evaluate the six trig functions. I'm just going to write down. Sorry. There's no school today, if you can tell. Um, negative square root of 15, y was 1, r is 4. All right. So now we do the sine. Sine is y over r. So 1 over 4. The reciprocal, cosecant, we 4 over 1, 4, 4. All right. The next one, cosine, 
is x over r, so be negative square root of 15 over 4. As a secant, you reciprocate it, negative 4 or over the square root of 15. Unfortunately, we have to rationalize it, so square root of 15 over the square root of 15. Multiply across, negative 4. Square roots of 15 over 15. All right, last one. Tangent and cotangent. Tangent is y over x. So y is 1, x is negative square root of 15. All right, we have to rationalize that. So multiply the numerator and denominator by negative square root of 15. Multiply across. All right. And then as a cotangent, flip it, negative square root of 15 over 1, which is negative square root of 15.